time. Y'all ready to have a good time? We gonna start the show off with one of my girls who's guaranteed to give us a good time. She's from the Boogie Down Bronx. She's the daughter of a jazz drummer. But hey, I'm telling you what, she moves her own beat, yo. Funny as hell. Y'all start clapping right now. Let's give a big family welcome mm -hmm. to Nikki Carl. so I can see his tongue move. He said, why the la la la? I said, yeah, where that at? <laughs> Ladies, y'all can use that. I call that the tongue technique test. You be in the club, you like a brother, you dancing with him and stuff. Ah, he moved good, he looked good, smell good. You just wanna know if he got that tongue technique down. You just lean over in his ear and go, I wonder if they serve lilac la 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 here. Be like, you don't even need to know, boy. That's what's up. <laughs> now, you know, if he stopped dancing and be like, the what? You'd be like, that's all right, boy. I asked somebody else. That's all right. <laughs> Look at the fellas looking at me. They say, but Nikki, what do we do? We want to know if the girl got that throat action. I'll tell you what you do ask her if she ever ate octopus in August or October. See that? Ah, oh. The tongue technique test. I thought the cops was gonna arrest me because I wasn't sexy enough to walk the streets. It don't bother me, y'all. I knew when I was a child I wasn't gonna grow up to be sexy. There was clues everywhere. There was. For example, I've been the same size since I was seven years old. <laughs> I ain't lying. This is how I look at all my school pictures. Look like two teachers in the class. <laughs> walking around with a picture ID to prove I belong to the school. <laughs> Knew I wasn't gonna grow up to be sexy, but it don't bother me. Sometimes it bothers me, I ain't even gonna lie. When it's really, really warm outside, cause men be mean to fat girls when it's too hot. I don't know if y'all noticed that or not. You be in the club, you wanna dance so bad, but all them sexy girls be naked. <laughs> Fellas don't know how to handle that. They following the girl around with the flat stomach and the big old ass. What about the girl with the big stomach and the flat ass? I can't dance with you. I like to dance too, you know. <laughs> Treating me like this body is my fault. Like I asked for it or something. Like I was in front of the creator going, no, no, no. I don't want no shapely, sexy body. Just give me a long back with a crack in it. Yeah. I'm gonna rock that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I always get ugly guys. I bet anybody in here, they ever put me in a horror movie, I bet you the monster gonna be my man. I bet you. I'm being Friday 13th, 2010. Movie first, come on, I'm scared, running through the woods with my friends. Ah! 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 Oh! Ooh. Jason. Oh my God, how are you doing? What are you doing out here? <laughs> Next scene be the wedding scene. All my ex-boyfriends there talking junk. Dracula. <laughs> I fold a good count on you. Freddy Krueger. I had big dreams for you. <laughs> I don't want to hear from none of them. I'm marrying Jason today. This is going to be my man. He's going to come to all my shows, sit up right up front. You can hear him laughing all in the club. <laughs> Is a state of mind. That's why I would have never became a 
singer because you have to be a singer. You don't have to be sexy to be no comedian, but you gotta be sexy to be a singer. But all my idols, all the big girls that come out on the singing scene, as soon as they start making it, the record companies get on them about changing their appearance. They do it to all of them. Kelly Price. Kelly Price came out, she was a big, beautiful woman. Anybody seen Kelly lately? She ain't the same price she was, she's 50% off now. <laughs> Stripped down by the industry. <laughs> and that is not healthy. When you used to being big and somebody tell you to, so you just start dropping weight just like that. You could lose your mind. It happened to Missy. Missy Elliott was fat, she was happy. Laughing on her songs, hee 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 ha, hee hee ha. <laughs> Wait, you can tell she lost her mind. First album she made when she was skinny, we didn't know what she was talking about. Missy said, it's your feminine nipple flame, yeah. It's your feminine nipple I was like, this girl done lost her mind. But I want to tell you something. I slowed it down and listened to it very carefully. All Missy was saying right there is, give me a little more of them yams. She was starving. I would never let that happen to me. And you know what? You don't even have to be that big. Look at my present idol right now, Miss Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer's not that big. Jennifer look good, got a beautiful body. Yes, give it up for her. But lately, every time I see Jennifer, she getting smaller and smaller. Now, is that her choice or is that the record company's messing with her? Let me tell you something, if I had a body like that, somebody stepped to me about losing some weight, I have a dream girl flashback right on the spot. I would, I just bug out. As soon as they tell me to lose weight, I'd be like, excuse me? There's no way, there's no way. No neutral system. South Beach is out. You can say what you want. I'm not working out.